What's going on everybody? I'm Terrence and this is Bank Shipping. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope everybody's having a good morning. Um, if you ain't up, go ahead and start that grind. Uh, no time to waste, especially if you're trying to reach some goals. You need to use all all the time that you have uh, to get those goals accomplished. But uh, anyway, we are here, well, back here in Baltimore. Uh, this is the same place that I delivered Friday. Went back to the customer, got a new load uh, and delivering here today. Um, so we've already got our straps and everything uh, taken off. So we're getting unloaded right now. Uh, once he gets done unloading the course like last time we'll pick up all our corner protectors so we don't leave uh you know everything dirty uh because i'm going back to um the customer and picking up another load that comes back up here tomorrow uh, so that uh that will be nope not the last load that will be the second to last load uh, that comes here this week um, I will drop this pick another load up at the customer and then bring that back here tomorrow and then tomorrow I'll go back to the customer pick up another load that comes back up here Wednesday um, so now that I have this uh, this 53 foot it seems like this one particular customer can't get enough of me uh, running this insulation you know, so I can't complain. It keeps me busy, keeps me loaded. Um, I kind of want to run some other stuff um, other than this, but it is what it is. You know, money's money. Um, I'm not going to complain about having loads uh, constantly thrown at me. You know, pretty much once I got this trailer, they pretty much said, hey, we got, you know, I don't know how many loads they threw at me. A couple ended up getting canceled for this week. Uh, but as soon as it got canceled, uh, I went, when I went in there Friday, uh, they told me that my Thursday load and my Friday load got canceled. I was supposed to go to uh, a three stop uh, in Maryland. All three stops were in Maryland uh, on Thursday. And then I was supposed to go uh, to the lovely DC um, on Friday. Uh, but the three stop got canceled and then the DC load got canceled as well. Um, I don't know what's up with this DC load. Uh, I've pretty much been trying to take this DC load since like, well, before my other trailer went down. Um, so, I mean, it's been a month, month and a half uh, that we've tried to get this DC load out, but they keep on canceling. So, oh, well, it is what it is. Um, but even though they canceled those two loads, they were like, oh, well, don't worry. We got two more loads for you for Thursday and Friday. So, you know, it, uh, I'm glad to be back, you know, to be able to run stuff now and make some money. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing down and, and quit talking and, and start uh, cleaning some stuff up so that I can get my paperwork and get back out of here. Alright guys, that's it. 
we are unloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lift this axle up since we don't need it no more. Save on that tire life. And I'll see y'all back at the customer. All right, guys, so I uh, had some technical difficulties with my GoPro yesterday. Uh, for some reason, it didn't want to turn on, so I couldn't record anything, but uh, you guys didn't miss much. Uh, I dropped off that load, um, you know, then the same spot in Baltimore uh, Monday morning, then came back got the same load from the same customer that went back to Baltimore uh, this morning and then came back uh, to the same customer uh, and got the last load uh, of the same stuff that goes to Baltimore. Um, so that was uh, four total truckloads of product going to the same customer uh, in Baltimore. So I wasn't going to bore you guys with the same old routine i mean i kind of feel like a route driver at you know the last couple days but uh we're basically doing the same thing you know going to baltimore dropping off coming back to the customer going back to the same spot dropping off um but it is what it is you know money's money i'm i'm not going to uh i'm not going to frown it or down it not one bit you know um yeah i wouldn't mind hauling some uh something different you know other than stuff from this one customer but if it pays the bills i'm gonna keep on running it till it dries up you know if it ain't broke don't fix it so you know i'm not going to tell the customer hey you know uh, i can't run this load because i want to run something else um now if other customers start calling me you know and they want me to run something and it's you know conflicting then you know i'll have to work something out uh, but as of right now, this one customer is taking full advantage of me having a full truck now. Um, so, you know, they're they're getting all the benefit and, and they were the first ones to say, hey, you know, we got all these loads for you and book me up all through the week. So I'm not going to complain not one bit. You know, it's light. It's easy. Um, so, yeah, but I wasn't going to bore you guys with the same thing, you know, seeing me do the same thing over and over and going the same place over and over um, but I'm glad I got my GoPro back working because, um, you know, for you guys that are out here in the hot shot or, you know, in semis or whatever, you know, you know what this week is. And that's, you know, the good old CVSA blitz, uh, the DOT blitz. So, you know, please guys make sure all your stuff is in order. Uh, make sure, you know, all your lights are working and everything like that. All your brakes, your breakaways. If you got gooseneck trailers, or, you know, stuff like that. Um, you know because you don't want to you don't want to be sitting you know during this this blitz week you don't want this to to be an added expense uh for something that you that could have been avoided um i know some things you know that they look for uh you know it might be something that you didn't catch or something that just happened uh those things happen uh but some people would say that's what the cvsa blitz is for in the name of safety um I'm not that naive. Uh, I don't think it's in the name of safety at all. Uh, I think it's got everything to do with the name of revenue. Uh, if that was the case, and it was in the name of safety and not in the name of revenue, um, you wouldn't get fined for it. You know, you wouldn't get any type of citations. It wouldn't go against your CVSA score, all that stuff. Uh, you know, that would be like, or. If it was in the name of safety and they wanted to find you, then if you took your personal vehicle or everybody else who, you know, drives a four-wheeler, takes their car to get inspected and something's bad, they get a fine. You know, when, when you, if I take my charger to go get inspected and, you know, a light's out, they're going to tell me the light's out and they're going to offer me to fix it or I can fix it. They're either going to throw a rejection sticker on it because the light's out or I can fix it and they throw, you know, a good inspection sticker on it. That's if your state has inspections, um, you know, but for vehicle, regular vehicles, you know. But they don't say, oh, you know, you got a tail light out, so that's going to be a $150 fine and your insurance is going to go up. They don't do that. So my thought process is if it was really in the name of safety, if they pulled you in and they inspected you and they found something wrong 
they would tell you what those issues were if it wasn't something that was dire something that's going to cause an accident something that truly is unsafe you know I can understand them shutting you down you know if you got steering linkage that's halfway missing yeah shut them down because that's just not safe you know um, but to find somebody for it or to find somebody because they got a marker light out you know I've had just in this truck you know I've been running this truck for not even a, a full week yet you know I started running it last Wednesday and since I've ran it I've had two marker lights go out two you know both of them were on the breathers you know the 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 beehive lights on the breathers um you know and they were really hard to come by because all the truck stops and shops and chrome shops and everything around me were all waiting for something you know but i was able to get online and order a bunch of them and so now you know they're fixed and i have spares for if they go out but those things happen you know if it makes no sense that if i leave out of here and all my lights are working and i go down these bumpy roads that you know or or goat paths that some of these states call highways you know and some of my you know one of the the little tabs that hook into the light break off because it's just getting jarred all over the place and then i happen to pass a scale and they pull me in and say oh well you got a marker light out well it was working this morning but it's my word against their word and then because it's out when they saw me if that trooper wants to be you know gung-ho they'll write you a citation for it that'll cost you money that can neg negatively affect your cbsa score for a light one light but yet a car can go down the road with no headlight at all because they hit a deer or they were in an accident and then have red duct tape or red you know tape on their brake light so that it's red and nobody bats an eye but because you're in a commercial vehicle and we're supposed to be professional drivers, that's a, a, a crock of stuff. They just put all them labels on you so they can say, oh, well, you should know better, so we're going to find you. They got to pay for these roads. Well, not roads because they obviously ain't doing that. I don't know where that money's going. But they got to make some money somehow. You know, it's, and it's on us. Everything is on us. Tolls are higher, heavy. Higher. Now that I'm in this, you know, I got to pay heavy highway use tax because I'm grossed over 60,000 pounds. You know, if the taxes, already taxes at the pump, and then you want to throw in random inspections and fines in the name of safety, I don't buy that not one bit. Not one bit. But anyway, that's my rant. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of you feel the same way. If you don't, let me know down in the comments so we can have a discussion about it. Either I'll discuss it with you in the comments or I'll make another video, you know, addressing the comments if, if you don't agree with what I'm saying. Um, you know, and, and also let me know if you agree. If you agree that it's more about revenue than safety. So, uh, but yeah, I'm not going to rant no more. That's enough. Y'all going to get my blood pressure up. <laughs> anyway, Make sure all your stuff is squared away so y'all don't have to worry about none of that, you know. That way you pull in, they inspect you, everything's good. You get your nice little sticker on your windshield. That's if they have stickers, because the last couple of inspections I went through, they ain't even have no stickers. I told the trooper the last time, if you don't have no stickers, you should be, he told me, I asked him if I could get a, a, a new window sticker. This was on my, my pickup. He said, oh, I'm fresh out of, of stickers, window stickers. And I said, well, if you fresh out of window stickers, you should have been fresh out of inspections. You shouldn't, if you can't give me no window sticker, you shouldn't be able to give me no, no inspection. Cause then what's to say that I ain't gonna go 60 miles and then have to get inspected again, even though I just got inspected, you know. But make sure all your stuff is squared away. You know, some of these fines can be pretty heavy. 
Um, I've seen, you know, especially if you're not registered right, you know, you don't got the proper license. If you're supposed to be registered CDL and you're non-CDL and you don't have a CDL, you know, those things can shut you down, come with a hefty fine and, you know, big enough to put you out of business. So, you know, make sure all your stuff is squared away, especially for this, you know, you should already have your stuff squared away, but especially, especially make sure it's like everything is good to go this week because you don't want to be messing around with, you know, with this week. These guys are out here. They're looking for everything, everything. I've seen DOT troopers posted up where I ain't never seen a police officer, let alone a DOT trooper. I mean, they're pulling people in the gravel parking lots of a farm market and stuff like that, you know. So they're out here, you know. They got to make some of that money back from what they lost from COVID. So make sure your stuff is good to go. So with that being said, everybody stay prayed up, grind hard, and stay humble. Mm -hmm.